Hey everyone, let's get to rigging. Shift S to set cursor to origin, Shift A to add an armature, under viewport display, select in front. Move this bone into position about from his belt to his neck. Search for subdivide in the F3 menu and divide it into three parts. Extrude this bone down, duplicate this bone over into the leg. Select all of these bones and center them in his body. Pull the leg bone down to about here. Extrude out to the tip of the toes, subdivide. Subdivide the leg bone, pull up the knee slightly, select the top of the spine and extrude a neck bone. Extrude up a head bone, copy the head bone and position it in the hair. Divide into four parts. Copy the head bone and make the hat bones. Extrude out a shoulder bone and extrude to the wrist. Divide the shoulder bone. Also, divide the arm bone. Select these three bones and move them towards the center of the arm. Extrude out a hand bone. Subdivide once, select the finger bones, and subdivide them. Position these bones however you want. I think leaving the finger bones even size might work even better. Enable snapping to volume and extrude out some thumb bones. Subdivide this bone and delete this bone. Copy the head bone and give his hair strands some bones. Subdivide. Pull back on the Y axis to center these bones in the hair strands. Select here and extrude a bone back. Select the spine bone and duplicate it. Drop it down to be our rig base bone. Name all our bones. Use whatever naming convention. Remember that any left side bone should end with a left side indicator. I usually use .l. Delete this shoulder bone. Select this bone and in edit mode, set its parent to base. Make the waist and bottom spine bone children of the body bone. Go through and uncheck connected on every bone. Set the thigh bones parent to the waist. Make sure all these strands of bones in the head are children of the neck bone and uncheck the connected box on all of them as well. Uncheck to form on the base bone, this bone, and the head bone. Select the rig in edit mode and choose symmetrize under the armature menu. Select all the body objects in object mode and shift select the armature last. Hit control P and choose with automatic weights. Test out our rig and we'll see it has a few problems, but some stuff is working well. Time to do some weight painting. Because of how I rigged my model, there will be quite a few bone weight issues we'll need to fix. It's possible we could have avoided a few of these by using custom envelope weights on our bones, but oops. To weight paint an object, select the armature, then shift select the object you wish to weight paint. Change into weight paint mode. In weight paint mode, you can mask vertices and faces with these buttons and select bones to see their control over the mesh. You can tab between edit mode and weight paint mode. Use edit mode to select vertices and click the assign or remove buttons over here. It helps position bones in pose or weight paint mode and see what isn't working. If you want to reset the position of your bones, hit Alt G. Resetting the rotation, hit Alt R. And scale is Alt S. This part is a bit of work, but worth learning how to do. Select the belt. In edit mode, hit A to select all. In object mode, select the armature and shift select the belt object. Go into weight paint mode. Select the thigh bones and remove all weights from the belt. Remove spine 1 as well. Assign all of it to the waist. Shift select the armature and the belt buckle. And go into weight paint mode. Remove the control of every bone except for the waist bone. As we go through, shift select the armature and the objects we want to paint, then go into weight paint mode. Select the lower spine, tab into edit mode, select these two lower loops and hit remove. Assign these two lower loops to the waist bone. I'm going to try to limit how much the tunic clips through the belt. Odds are you'll never use such extreme poses, but if the rig works when it's broken, then it'll work really well for whatever you want to use it for. With the waist bone selected, under the weights menu, hit smooth to smooth out the bone weights. Weight paint the belt again. Select this upper loop and with the spine one bone selected, assign a low weight. Do the same with this loop. You could easily solve the remaining issue by deleting most of the tunic under the belt. 
select spine 2 and these edge loops, hit remove. Also select the shoulder and hit remove. Now for the most part, the tunic stays under the belt even when we stretch out our rig too far. Just do some fine tuning on the tunic and belt. Apparently the foot is controlling the belt buckle, so remove that. Assign this upper loop to the waist bone. Remove all the chest control from the thigh bone. Assign a small amount of control over these vertices to the thigh bone and smooth the weight several times. Add a little more here and there, then smooth several times until it deforms how you want it to. Select the bottom loop on the leg and assign it fully to the lower leg bone, select the thigh bone, and remove. Assign the top of the shoe fully to the lower leg bone and remove control from the foot bone. Assign these vertices to the foot bone. Select these vertices and in weight paint mode, hit the vertex masking option, smooth the weight several times. Select the vertices on the back of the knee and the lower leg bone, assign more weight to them. With these vertices still selected in edit mode, select the thigh bone in weight paint mode and assign less weight. Do some manual and automatic smoothing. Paint in some higher control of the foot bone over this loop of vertices and smooth. Select some vertices with the masking on and smooth out the weights. Select all these back vertices and the toe bone, remove control, select these two edge loops and smooth several times. Remove all control over the back hair object except for the neck bone. As you select bones, if any color appears on the hair object besides blue, tab into edit mode and hit remove. Select the neck bone and hit assign. Select this back loop on the hair and assign it to the neck bone. Assign all of these to the neck bone as well. This sideburn bone shouldn't be doing anything to the head, so select like before and remove. Select the armature, then shift select the head object, go into weight paint mode. Tab into edit mode, select all, tab back into weight paint mode, select the neck bone and hit assign. Select the side hair bones and hit remove. Do this for all four side hair bones. Moving to the hat. Assign these edge loops to the neck bone. And assign this one with less weight. Select these two edge loops and assign with a low weight to the first hat bone. The same with these two and the second hat bone. And the final hat bone gets weight like this. Smooth as needed. The neck and back hair piece could use some help. Select the neck bone and most of the top of the body. Hit remove in edit mode. Select the top loop and assign with a weight of 1 to the neck bone. Remove control of this loop from the shoulder and any other spine or arm bones that might have some slight weight. The hat bones seem to have control over the back of the hair, so remove that. Same with any arm bones and the side hair bones, and apparently the other hair bones. Remove the control of the side hair bones over the hat. We only want the neck and hat bones to control the hat position. The arms and hands have some control over the hat, so remove that. And I think that's getting pretty close. Can maybe adjust the side hair bones slightly. The hands move pretty good, except for this loop closest to the arm. Remove it from the hand bone and assign it to the arm bone. Use a mask to do some smoothing. 
Also, let's change how his hands clip into his sleeves. Just kind of tuck it in in edit mode. Also, now is a good time to recalculate bone rolls, select the armature, and in edit mode, select all bones. Under the armature menu, select recalculate bone roll and use global plus Y. In pose mode, test out some bones. The front hair and hat still have some slight issues. Make sure to remove control from the inner part of the hat as well. There we go. Remove the hair bones control over the back loop of hair. We don't want it to ever move unless the neck bone moves. Remove the hair bones control from the side of the hair. Do some smoothing. Change the second hair bone so that it doesn't control any of the back hair. And smooth everything. Select all four of these bones, and with individual origins as the pivot point, rotate to give Link's hair his signature wave. Smooth stuff is needed. These back vertices need to be controlled more by the neck bone. Select the neck bone and these vertices in weight paint mode, smooth a bit. Maybe do some adjustments to the thumb. Let's add Link's pokey stick and anti pokey stick to his rig. Select all the sword objects, and then the armature, hit Ctrl P, choose with empty groups. Do the same with the shield. Select the armature in edit mode, hit Shift A to add a new bone, line this bone up with the shield handle, duplicate it and line it up with the sword handle. Name this bone sword, and this bone shield. Add a vertex group to the shield objects. Name this group shield. Select your objects. In edit mode, select all vertices and hit assign while selected on the shield vertex group. Do this with the sword objects as well, except for name the new vertex group sword. If you want, you can parent his weapon bones to the corresponding hand bones, and now they move with the arms. That's Link's rig completed. Hopefully, after this weight painting marathon, you'll have a better understanding of how to fix any bone weight issues you run into in the future. Now we've got an adorable Link model who's all ready to begin an adventure on Koholint Island. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's it. That's all I've got. There is definitely nothing I forgot to make, and I'm making another video on next week or anything. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.